John, we just want to let you know that we're such John big Foss fans interviews. of you. We're going to feed him grapes, too. John Foss <laughs> interviews and sweats. I think you should, like, shave your head or something. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> look at thing. Here look how nice you look. Well, you know, when I'm with you guys, you had to compete with her because she so. looks great. Everybody looks. Yeah, yeah. I would like to tell him. What are you talking about, man? I'm wearing a collared shirt. You asked me if I was going to be. Like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell a my shirt. shirt. Dream Corp LLC. Oh, on, nice. On Adult great Swim. show. It's an amazing show. I interviewed He's you like, before that show over out. the phone. Two pack, right here. That's what we talked on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, with yes. Danny Stetson. Yes. Yes. Come Love on. It. I remember. Yes. Awesome. We know each other. Yes, I've actually by interviewed you too, but I don't expect anybody to remember me. So what's Did that? We talk at uh, last oh, so time. Oh, you I was here? I've never interviewed. Th that's why I'm back. Was that Even. was I was I in Sweden at the time? Yeah. Um, probably, probably. <laughs> he just told me today at lunch. He's never. I don't want to miss any of this. But you've never been to Sweden. No. Do you want to go? But I really like the music. Yeah, I'm inviting you right I mean, now. You, you, yeah. Dude, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, well, we're after the, after oh, the after event. Oh, after the interview. Okay, yeah. all right, sounds good. Yeah. So, 15 years. Yes. Yeah. What is it like for you guys to see each other at an event like this? I mean, do you guys just pick up where you left off? Do you guys see each other on a regular basis? We, we What's know, this we like? know each yeah. other. Okay. They prepped us ahead of time by uh, us. Do you remember John? Us in a room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here's here's like his name. Here's how you pronounce advance. it. Like when we first walked up, we shook hands. Like, oh hey. Yeah. No, we we know each other. We're okay. Yeah. You're all still yeah. good friends. We live really close to each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you all so hang so out. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then my next question is, what do people think, or what do people do when they see you on the on the street together, like out of context here? I, I'm glad you it. didn't say what people think, because I have no idea what they think, but. Uh, what, what, they what they do, what they tell us, they think. So what they tell us, they think. Yeah. It certainly doesn't help when the three of us are together, because like you know, uh, alone Usually I can walk they, the they alleyways. Miss me dark. first, they don't see me. They might see him, and then they kind of hear his voice, we'll, and they go, "Oh, that's." It. And or we'll both go like, "Look at the make eyes at yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Efren." Yeah. Efren They'll see just Efren, and, like, and then we know we're done. We're, yeah. we're, so yeah. it, actually, because I invited a friend today, he's actually the manager at the Red Cow. Oh, okay. He couldn't come oh, because he was working, wow. but yeah. then later he texted me, he's like, they're here, people are going crazy. Nice so, red cow drop, drop right there. Was, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. This is, Delicious we gotta make food. money, man. The food was great, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was food great. great. Service was better. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. They were both great. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. Random question. At right. the beginning of the movie, when you throw the, the figurine out the window, is that a thing? Do people do that? It's, it's hilarious. It is a but thing like, now. Okay, did, I was that something that Jared Hess... In no, his I think childhood. he did. I think okay. he did. I mean, we've all dragged things behind us, uh, our vehicles. We have? Or, yeah, 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 for that. entertainment or for I've never done like, that. toys. That's know, not a Minnesota yeah. thing, I guess. That needs to be in your resume. Okay. You have I'm going to do it on the way home. Yeah. Yeah. I we'll had Tonka toys as a kid. My brother threw them in the lake. He yeah. just wanted to see them sink. Yeah. My and younger brothers cry, My you younger know? brothers misbehave. We tie them on the bike and then That's we drag them down the street. That's when, you, that's when you know it's love. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Love so hurts. I, I think one of the be, one of the best things about this film that makes it that sets it apart from other films is that it's a comedy, obviously. But you guys play it so straight. And here's the key: subtle. How did you guys all know to do that? Was that directing? Or did you guys read the script? And honestly, really, we're all kind of super amazing. Well, there's that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we just it's we, reading and it's using our instincts, and yeah. uh, and we were just like killing it out there. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Well, did you have anybody come in that was maybe going to try to steal Absolutely the show? Absolutely not. And you guys were like, no, hey. we, no. The people no. that came in that tried too hard, we stuffed. Mm -hmm. And there were a couple that came in and really tried hard and was like, no, no, you're missing what this movie is, and it's not a show for you. So stop. Those were all the new actors. We were kind of like a cult before. We'd mm -hmm. come in and we'd surround them in our robes, our Napoleon yeah, robes, right. and we're just like, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> You don't belong here, so get, do your scene and get out. <laughs> That's perfect. In, in, in all honesty, it's an independent film yeah. where, where most, mostly everyone you know, in front of the camera, yeah, people in front of the camera lens and people behind the camera lens, they knew each other. And, and once we all got on board to, to work together, it was a family. Mm -hmm. And we all really felt at home. So the work, it wasn't work for us. It was just something that we enjoyed doing. And I think also what you had said about, just to get on a serious note, along with Ephraim here, Finally. On, finally, we're getting there. Um, on a serious <laughs> note, what you had said about about uh, being a comedy yet being subtle, it's also we all played the stakes as real. Mm -hmm. no, 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 this is not an Uncle Rico pun, but truly, like the the 
everything was, you know, it, it, the stakes were high. It's I gotta say, it, it, it like, was a very different comedy, and we all knew that going into yeah. this. This is not a this is not a script. You're reading jokes. No, you know, it's like okay, um, but every couple, like every uh, few lines in a comedy is typically oh, there's a joke, and it's very apparent. But yeah. this was like. You got to find the jokes and just kind of like either the delivery or it's kind of weird mm -hmm. portrait-esque uh, yeah. writing. Right. Just like, oh, you're painting a picture. Here's this person and just observe them. And so we, yeah, you play it completely real because it's like there's a specific uh, environment and world that we're painting here and showing people and our investment in that world is yeah. what makes it funny because we, it's like Hopefully. a like i mean you know funny or interesting you know yeah, like people look at it differently and you know people laugh yeah. but it's it's yeah. weird when they laugh because it's it's not there's no time jokes it's just like either they'll find the line very true or they'll find it funny and it, both ways are a win i mean sometimes when i remember the first time we all saw it and at sundance yeah there were laughs for things that I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, that, that's funny? I, okay, yeah. that's cool. We'll take it. I, it was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. And John and Efren, you guys have twin brothers, right? Both we of you? We do. What yeah. do you, so sure. do, when yeah. they're walking down the street, I'm sure that people think they're you. And what do they, do they like that? Or do they get sick of well, it? Or do they play actually, long? They're doing an event right now. Oh, wait, Milwaukee. Are you guys the real? We're not even here. Damn. You never know. You got us. <laughs> I'm the real one. He's the fake one. So we always have a little bit of, uh, truth. you know, truth yeah. at yeah. any yeah. of these the events. Yeah. No, they're cool. I think my brother's pretty cool about it. Yeah. I mean, we're twins. So if, if it works with the fact that when you play a character that people enjoy and embrace, you know, they see my brother and they give him a big hug. They're like, dude, you're awesome. My brother goes sweet. So, yeah. Very cool. And yeah. Uncle Rico. I mean, that character. I have, a, I have an Irish twin. He's 13 months older than me. So perfect, yeah. perfect. So you, uh, how did you know, like, where did that character come from? Was it something, because you were a baseball player. Yeah. So you had some athletics in your background. Where did no, where did you no, pull that from? Truly, or did you know someone? No, they, they, when they offered me the role, Jared Hess, the director, came into town for one day. And they said, OK, we, we want you to meet Jared Hess. I was like, yeah, I'd love to meet him. So I came to this apartment building in Los Angeles. And he, he was, he's, you know, he was only, I think he turned 23 when we, yeah, when yeah. we were making the film. He's quite wow. young. And he looked at me and he said, um, can I, do, do you mind if I tell you, t tell you uh, something about Uncle Rico? I said, no, come on, man, let's do it. So we walked outside and he said, well, um, and then he just took off running down the block. Well, just before he goes, he runs like this and he just ran down the block. Then he walked back and he said, he's kind of a mixture of David Hasselhoff meets Burt Reynolds meets Elvis. And I said, say no more. That's done. That was it. All right. And Uncle Rico was born right there. That's it. Very cool. That Very was cool. It. That was it. So do, do you ever find yourself, do you guys, do all of you guys still play the characters every once in a while, like for special events or just to screw with people or? Uh, he'll do my stupid voice all the time. That's uh, the only thing. And it's irksome and... Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, Pedro's all right, but like all I the rest of the right, yeah. all the rest of the characters, even you know, from, from even Grandma, Grandma to to Kip and Donnie, right? Uh, the bully. <laughs> they, I mean, they're all so great. Even La Fonda, you know, they're oh, wonderful she, characters, mm -hmm. very yeah, rich, and well written. Definitely, so, yeah. it's hot as hell in here. Sorry, he's melting. Don't melt. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, your coat off. Oh, I need that for the mic. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. I can just hold it here like a nap. The tiny, tiny mic, tiny mic, tiny microphone. Put it on the little. Just don't shave your head. I'm. What's that? Don't shave your head. You learn the hard way. Like that? Yes. Hard way. So obviously, you guys all get along very well. Yes. But you had to be pissed when that guy hit you in the face with a steak. No, I was and that cool. was real. Actually, I was happy because we were doing that take after take. And as soon as he hit me, I was like, finally, it's over. <laughs> we can go back to the trailer. Yeah. Well, you didn't have trailers, I was did trying you? to solve the it. And then mm -hmm. finally I said, look, I can't hit him unless I just chuck the steak. And he looked at me and he goes, so chuck it. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, give me a bigger piece of meat. And I, I hit him. And the crazy No, no ill feelings. No. Yeah. It was great. I was impressed. The I was great, like, good job. Greatest moment of my acting career, and I wasn't even on camera. <laughs> Well, that was, and you took, you took Kip's steak. Yeah. Which is perfect for the character. Yeah. See, did someone eat that steak? At the end? Did someone after it was thrown? Yeah, after it was thrown? Yeah, I'm well, sure. Well, craft service was probably a little. That was, this is before you guys <laughs> they just threw a stew they made for lunch. Great. Nice. Chopped it up, threw it in there, and washed it off. Yeah. It. Low budget. So with a film like this, where you guys just come out of nowhere and blow up, a lot of people would think, you know, one and done. You guys have had some insanely good careers since. 
and uh, Dreamcorp LLC, for example, amazing Thank show. You, for you just won at the Twin Cities Film Fest, yeah, yeah. best best actor. I'm kind of a big deal. When man. Jeff I saved heard, the world, yeah, yeah. when <laughs> Jeff, Jeff tried to save the world, yeah, just yeah, watched yeah. it. Very good film. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And, and your resume is insanely He's long too, and you're doing an theater show. and stuff like that too. New show with uh, Ben Kingsley. Mm. Oh yeah, Sir Ben Kingsley. He hasn't done his homework. Crank. Perpetual no, Grace. no, Perpetual, Perpetual Grace. Grace. No, I'm saying that you're in that. Yes. Yeah. Still, he's, so, he's saving Kingsley himself right now. Guy, ben Kingsley, he's Gandhi. saving himself right now. He's sweating. That's but why the, he's sweating. I'm, that's true. That's Gandhi. very true. He's, he's working with Gandhi. Yeah, Come on. I'm working with Sir Ben Kingsley and Luis Guzman and Jackie Weaver on a show called Perpetual and Grace Simpson. and Jimmy Simpson, who mm -hmm. the great Jimmy Simpson, who's, who's just remarkable. Remember, he was in Dream Corps. He was okay. one of the patients. He was the one that I bit, remember bit when me I, in the neck. When I talked to you, yeah. you said that this guy, because I was interviewing him. This is weird. The next day. Oh, right. Yeah. For the, for and when I told Jeff you to say hello to him. You said to ask him to be in the show. Yeah. Has that happened? No, but it will. Well, both of these guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Well, some dreams can turn to really, <laughs> really challenging <laughs> moments. So, okay. But no. We'll see. No. Yeah. We had okay. a, a very interesting conversation about dreams this morning. Yeah. What was uh, the, What was it? Curtailing a just little bit. Talking about how you know what dream, they mean. repetitive dreams and what they mean. And we know, just yeah. we did therapy on each other yeah, for a while. People who are in your dreams are they just another version of you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So with the success of this film, you guys are doing the, you, do, you guys are doing this for thousands of dollars. The success of the film, I'm sure the... We're doing the, what for thousands of dollars? <laughs> oh, 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 one thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Who? I don't know. Who have you been talking to? Yeah. Like a hundred. A hundred. So, yeah. my question is, when it was so successful, how did you guys fight off the temptation to do a sequel? Because obviously, then we're talking millions of dollars. Well, people but were a lot of sequels people would want a sequel to this film, and it all depends. Just, night. just tell. Them. It was up to Jared Hess. Yeah, yeah. Up to the director. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not. It's you could say, but it's not like one person can like just make it all happen. It's really the yeah Jared Hess who created the show. This is his call, and that's why I think we were all universally behind. Like, whatever it's he his call. If he wants to, then yeah. we'll consider it. And if he doesn't want to, we're not going to do it. Okay. Yeah. So Very cool. We're just so you did the cartoon. Yeah. Is there any? What's? Is there a chance of something else? A TV show? You tell me. I don't this, I've heard you say that you want to do more TV. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, you know, I I tell I just tell people I don't think the world of Napoleon is dead yet. Okay. So it all depends that's on the a, audience and the studio. That's a yeah. gut feeling. Mm -hmm. That's not a. Hint, 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 wink, wink. wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy was run, was going strong when Napoleon Dynamite came out. As far as acting goes, you were more behind behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. And you had recently retired. Would yeah, you guys? Yeah. Did you ever see Blades of Glory? <laughs> that came out afterwards, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. talking before it happened. Before before, before the I, before I, Napoleon Dynamite. Yes, you're right. No, I had quit acting. Films. I had. Yeah. yeah I had quit would you guys still be acting if it wasn't for this movie? I don't know if I would. I don't know. If it wasn't for this movie, probably not. For sure, a hundred percent. Can you hold this for a second? I'm going to take your advice. Tiny yeah. microphone. I'll hold it. All right. Yeah. Whoa, okay, man! Look at those guns. guns. Boom! <laughs> He's got guns. That, pick that up. That's going to get dirty. All, All right. right. So, how long have you been working here in uh, uh, the? CW? Five years. Yeah, all right, right. Yeah. CW's twin. Uh, you know when they edit it, it's just going to like cut to him like. Bing. This is the yeah. intro. Bing. And then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who is jacket disappeared? In regards to acting, you know, we're artists. You yeah. Know? And it's, it's, a, it's about the art and the art of star or storytelling. And that's it. Okay. You know, and the fact that we love what we do is is we we there's a passion to it. All right. So. <laughs> This is the first interview where I've taken off my shirt mid-interview. Wow. So thank you we guys feel, so much. I appreciate it. I feel like it. that. Yeah. need that. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. This poor guy. We, John, we just want to let you know that we're such John big Foss fans interviews. of you. John Foss interviews, John man. Foss interviews. This is how we treat him. We're going to feed him grapes, too. Fine. This is the Do service you think it's that I've needed my entire life. It's called John Foss <laughs> interviews and sweats. I think you should like <laughs> shave your head or something. I think I need to. <laughs> hey, but we're going to Sweden. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. I'm going to go tell my wife, talk it over with her, it's, it's check out better. the budget. It's cooler there. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I think it's awesome. hot in the summer. It's like all, it's like, oh. it's like daylight all day. Hey, right? hey, hey, hey. You're doing good. This is right. so amazing. We should have started the interview like this. Yeah. But I know so, you guys got to go. I, would, I could do this forever, but thank good you guys so much. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Of course, man. This is a dream come true. Sweden, baby. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. John Foss interviews, Napoleon Dynamite, 15 years. John, John, Eprin, thank you so much. Appreciate hey, it. You get it, man. You get it. Now it's just me. All right, I'm out. <laughs>